Jeff Lynette, what did you do today? Oh, you know, I just waited on social media for Hogwarts Legacy to post something on Instagram. It's just another normal chill day in the life, you know? Good news is that I added a notification for Hogwarts Legacy's official Instagram. I already have one for Twitter, so anytime they tweet from their official account, it goes to a channel. Now I added Instagram. I didn't think I needed it because one, I don't participate on Instagram that often, but now I'm back on it. And two, it's usually a double post. It's rare that they would post on Instagram and not on any of their other socials. So now we are prepared. So just a quick recap for those of y'all who didn't see any of this or like, what's Instagram? I know. Um, so there were two posts. One was with this unauthorized guide. It had this lovely book that now we are getting tips from. First tip is about the common rooms. There are secrets in the common rooms, so let's go find them, including the Slytherin common room where we're gonna blast the glass for some reason. Then the next day, they talked about the restricted section with tip number two, where it's like, just don't get caught, you know? Don't get caught, go ahead, find whatever you want. Then tip number three was about the defense against the dark arts classroom. I am curious what they might post today. It is 9.59 a.m. Pacific time. This is what I do with my life. Also, side note, this book appears to be in the little talent section of the state of play where we see a card and it clearly has the same book on it. There are 17 things that we're finding, I suppose, to complete it. It'll be interesting to find out. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, what do we have here? Peeves? <laughs> no, no, Peeves, listen. Peeves is gonna have some answers for us. He is, I mean, actually, it would probably be very challenging to get any information from him. Look at him, he is quite the jokester. Avoid Peeves at all costs though, tip number four. Tip number four, ask about, ooh, snap, wait, what does this say? But I must hang out with Peeves, is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> ask about, sharp, sharp? Ask about, I think that's sharp, or baddie? Wait, no, or, <laughs> what does this say? Is that a B, A, D, or bad? I wanna say or baby, but that's a D, not a B. What does that say? Oh, badge. Not baby. <laughs> it's not a word baby, it's badge. <laughs> Listen, Peeves is, this is my opinion on Peeves. Yeah, he is, wait, do you see smoke coming out of him or is that just the poltergeist effect? It looks like he's, it almost looks like he's farting or stinky, but there's like smoke coming out of him or some sort of smoky effect. Look how cool he is. I know that he's like a troublemaker, but so are we probably, maybe, or at least we're friends with troublemakers. I don't know if I wanna be a troublemaker. I just wanna be sneaky and stealthy. So, hmm, ask about sharp or body. Babe, body, baby, body. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that says. Can anyone read that? We gotta, we gotta put together the clues for everything. I'm gonna check Twitter real quick and see. They don't, I don't think they posted anything. Are you serious? This is just an Instagram only push for Hogwarts Legacy, which is interesting. I mean, there's nothing about what they're posting that I feel like, well, actually that's not true. So they are posting three, well, these first were three, three. This is just one. They could easily post this on Twitter. So on Twitter, you can't do multiple videos. You can do multiple images, but not videos. So maybe though, maybe because they started posting on Tuesday. So they posted one tip on Tuesday, two tips on Wednesday, one tip on Thursday. Maybe they're doing tip number five tomorrow on Friday. So everyone knows where we're gonna meet, 10 a.m. Pacific time, we're gonna be back, we're gonna look at Instagram and we'll see how many tips they end up going. Like, I'm curious about this. If this is an unauthorized guide to Hogwarts, students 
write it. Well, actually, I, this is interesting because I wonder if this says something about the author. The author of this book or whoever wrote this tip does not, I feel like there's a way to get to Peeves so that he's on your side. Don't you think? So like the person who wrote this, their tip is to avoid Peeves at all cost. There, I'm sure that we can get Peeves to let, no, Peeves is just uncontrollable. <laughs> but Peeves might know the other potential poltergeist in the Haunted Hogsmeade, Fastidio. Like, I got questions for Peeves because I'm like, what's the deal with this Haunted Hogsmeade, you know? Okay, also, um, ask about Sharp or, or Baby. <laughs> I mean, y'all can tell me what you think. That looks like a capital S if I were to uh, imagine how this person wrote, oh, and then there's capital A's. So a an A looks like that. And as that looks like a capital S, sharp or, okay, or baby jokes aside, it seems that Professor Sharp, Sharp was a name from the Autodesk presentation. It was a file name. So we're speculating that it is from the potions classroom. The potions professor's name is likely Professor Sharp. And if he is somehow an or, not an or baby, <laughs> but then we can have that connection right there of, I mean, look at him. This guy looks like he could definitely be an ex orer What do y'all think about these little tips from an unauthorized guy? So also the other thing is that Chandler seems to tell us that it's not the name of the book. There's a real name to this book, and there's probably a way that we encounter it and a way that we use it in the game. We don't fully know. All we see is that it appears there are tips and there are locations or people. There's probably going to be stuff about objects. Maybe. I don't know. Places, people, things. <laughs> Maybe. There's handwritten notes, which is very curious. It also seems to name people that are directly in Hogwarts Legacy at this time. So we have the professor, we have potentially a librarian's name, unless garlic refers to vampires and something like that. Uh, we also have Peeves, which, I mean, Peeves has been around forever, so that might not give us like a narrowing of the timeline, but the professor in Hogwarts Legacy, because that, that it specifically says defense against the dark arts and the dragon skeleton. So it seems to be, however, we got to figure out how long are Hogwarts professors 10 years, especially with Defense Against the Dark Arts, because you can write that and then it could be outdated if there's a new professor, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So it's interesting. I wonder, one, if the written text updates, like, is it some sort of like updating system that the the written out words maybe it's enchanted i don't know it's magic so it seems to be magical or a lot of things seem to be magical so it could be that um it could be that the per the person or people like this feels to me like i know everyone is talking about batilda bagshot right now but like i am i would be interested if this is a collective like student made tips and it's like yeah submit your tips we'll compile it and we will keep track of it i mean the other thing is if is if someone so either the person who wrote this book if they left it in a particular spot or if they lost it and we found it i don't know i have many questions and it also appears to be related to talents or things that we can collect that relate to the book itself. It could be those hidden pages. Maybe there are pages torn out. And so we have to find those pages. So, okay, my mind is going in two directions. What if we f have to find those pages and that scene in the state of play where we find it and it goes into our book and then we're able to see this is tip number five and this is what it says. Or, hmm... No, not all of them seem to be directions. I was going to say maybe the written text in the margins give us instructions or clues for where to find those pages. Regardless, it's a collection-based item, it seems, like where we're going to be collecting pages, and I'm excited about that. I am, when it comes to games, I am mostly a completionist. 
it usually plays out in quest. So I must complete quest or quest motivate me. And that's my primary mission. I don't really care about aesthetics or anything like that. Making my own home and decorating it, I do not care. But quest and then completion. So if there are things to complete, I want to fill it out and I want to make sure I get all of them. So I'm very excited about this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about, well, there's a lot of things to talk about. One, this Instagram exclusive marketing that seems to be going on. Two, any thoughts you have about this unauthorized guide, theories, speculation, connections. Um, and three, especially if you can decipher any of this handwriting, because I think it's just fun to kind of look at it and try to guess what does this actually say, because it's clearly cut off. We're not meant to see the whole thing. It's just a little tease, and that's what makes it fun. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Wands Ready.